Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at the new Holiday Scorched Rewards and some of the new Season 7 Data Mined Objects. Let's first take a look at the new plans and then we'll finish it up with the new Season Rewards. We first are going to take a look at the Mounted Wall Fan. There's nothing too crazy going on with this design, basically what you would expect out of a fan. Next up we have the Red Rocket Gas Pump Wall Light which can be turned off and on and does require power of course. And it's actually pretty cool and it's decent looking. Not too bad. And I think a lot of you will dig this with your Red Rocket Camp designs. And to the right of us, we have a wooden barbed wire fence. This is pretty cool. And there is different versions of this. Of course, you have the two that are connected together. And then you have the single version. And then here we have the gate. You can connect these pieces together and maybe, you know, build up an area for future pets. Of course we're not sure what kind of pets we are going to be able to acquire maybe the ones that we have had in fallout 4 maybe like a good old doggo or something uh, we don't know but i'm just kind of throwing out some ideas there let's move on forward we have three different plans going on we have the vibrant red rug here with the nuka cola logo on it with the nuka girl if you are into plushies then you ultimately are going to want to add this to your collection at your camp and then here in the middle we have the red rocket gas station lamp and i have to say bethesda is definitely treating you guys out there that are fans of these type of theme sets because you can add this to your collection especially if you have some of the stuff from the atomic shop and last but not least we have the tattered curtains there are three different versions of this the one that i'm looking at from the right to the left is going to be the long version the one in the middle that i just opened the window to that is the medium one and then you have the last curtain right there to the left if you're sitting there wondering whether or not these are going to be in the newest loot pool for the Halloween Scorched event, my best guess says yes because they have not updated the presence in some time. I believe the Mole Miner Pails have had more. But yep, that is pretty much it for those items, let alone. Now let's head over to the data mine images. I do have to give a fair warning here if you do not want to see any type of spoilers, whether that be new Atomic Shop items or Season 7 items, then please leave now. Other than that, let's dive into this information we have to start the data mine images off with the mohawk a new hairstyle from what the data mine image says i do have to say it has been a long long time since we have seen a new hairstyle and we cannot forget about tattoos as well hopefully we will see some new ones in the future since they've added this hairstyle yet yeah, let's move on i'm definitely digging these three different versions of the tombstone definitely got the halloween vibes there this is going to be the enclave red wallpaper and right after this we have a phenomenal floor star design this is beautiful i think this is probably one of the best floor designs that they've done those that have that alien type vending machine will love that ufo table after this we have a new building design which looks great now those three items that i just mentioned will be season seven now things can change who knows they might throw in something different but as far as we know the galaxy one the ufo table and the new building design should be a part of the season seven scoreboard as we go along i will mention which ones that have appeared as a season 7 scoreboard reward for example this casino slot machine is going to be a part of it which is cool for some reason i imagine them just simply throwing this out as an atomic shop item instead of just simply giving it out for free which i'm gonna say kudos to bethesda because that would have been a really downfall i do not want to go and purchase something that can give me free caps so i'm i'm down to try this out when it is released but let's continue on with the rest of the data mine images we are going to receive some new interesting paint designs and by the way this one right here is my favorite there's no way you can beat that unfortunately that paint will not be available for a season 7 reward this poster coming up right here is going to be a part of this season 7 sure it's not as great as the mole rats playing poker but it definitely beats that whole dolphin theme that they had last season holy crap just let's not even go down that path this outfit right here is going to be a part of this season 7 rewards and i have to say this season is going to outbeat even this season that we're going through right now and the last one because so far we have some great skins i'm digging this one just because it shows the brain and you have so many other great items within this and i can't imagine what the rest is going to look like once we get to see it all put together i know when i saw some of the images for the season six i was not as stoked or just as hyped as i am for this one because there just seems to be some really interesting stuff in here such as emotes the skins even the photo mode emotes that you can use 
this appears to be one of the scoreboards that I might be willing to actually grind it out for. As for this power armor right here, this is not a Season 7 reward. It is a different version of the Junkyard, except this is the Rusted Junkyard skin. Next up, we have the Season 7 skins, which this time I'm not disappointed at all. The colors here do pop right off the power armor skin, and for me, personally, this beats the Mr. skin by a lot. Speaking of it, let me know down below in the comments section what you think was the best skin out of all seasons. I am interested to see what you all have to say. If you are curious whether or not there is a Season 7 final skin within this data mine images, then I will have to inform you that there is not. At least we do not know what it looks like. I'm sure Bethesda is still designing it out, trying to give it, you know, the proper feel. As for now, we do not know what it looks like. As for the last five images, I believe it is, there are going to be just avatar images that you can just throw on your character's profile. They're cool, they're whatever, you know, there's nothing too stoked to be about. It is what it is, it's profile images, so hey. But I'm going to leave you guys on those last images there. I appreciate all the great conversations that went on in the last video about the whole legendaries not being able to drop. If you did not know, Bethesda made it so that it is pretty much impossible to drop a 4 star legendary. What will happen is once you craft one down, you go into your inventory and then you try to drop it. It gives you that whole pop-up dialogue asking you, hey, you know, are you sure you want to remove this? Because if you do, it's not going to drop. It's just going to be completely destroyed. That is pretty much what goes on, and it does suck. But at the same time, with all the conversations that went on in that last video, it does make sense because it does give some sort of value for those three stars. And I guess it does kind of take a hit on the market so that you're not able to trade these suckers. Unless there is some way to trade these with a glitch, then I could absolutely see that. And that does kind of intrigue me. I do want to see if that is possible, so I might give it a go. Also, before I even go or, you know, head on out of here, I have to also talk about this because I will be making another video here shortly showing off some of those new plans, the new rewards that you can earn from the new Mothman event that is located over there at Point Pleasant. I was not able to get this to activate in a private server or more so a custom server. Not sure if the event itself is bugged for private or custom worlds or whatever, but I'm going to have to try to take another shot at it. I was not able to get any clips of that, yet I do plan on giving it another go here shortly. Anywho, I'm going to head on out, but before I do, I want to say this. If you want to join our Discord, you can do that down below by clicking in the description. We have a great community, great moderators, and we even have a channel set section there that will tell you step by step on how to do a specific glitch. Other than that, go check it out. I'm going to head on out. Thank you guys as always, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.